And on another thing I wanted to talk about, we've, we've spoken about a lot of things this week in this podcast. And yeah. Um, Go on, what's, what's, what's one of the last things you want to talk about? So I've been at this job this week, yeah. and I know it's not really, you shouldn't expect it, and you shouldn't, you know, don't feel like you deserve it so much, but it's lovely when a customer makes you a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. It's, it is much appreciated, isn't it? It is, because it very much is. I know... I, I know people say, oh, well, you know, people in Sainsbury's don't get it. People, But, yeah, I know. But They have full kitchens upstairs <laughs> where they can go to. Like, I've, I've got a kettle in the van, but that's for outsiders or if I'm, exactly. you know, there's no one there. You feel rude busting into a customer's kitchen to make a cup of tea. And I think what a lot of customers fail to realise is that if they might go to the effort of making you a cup of tea a couple of times a day, maybe yeah. once a day, that they're going to get that... Back you in go, spades, yeah. you go the extra. You you put in the extra effort as well. Yeah, you you always do a little bit more for a customer that does a little bit for you. And it's very much sort of that old that old saying, isn't it? Treat people how you like to be treated yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, you, you know, if you were there all day without a cup of tea, and especially in the summer, you yeah. know, when you're outside. Oh, and, I love it. If they come out with like a cold drink, oh, I've got some ice creams for you or something like that. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like again, you don't expect these things, but it, and it shows. A decent customer. Exactly. You know. Yeah. You could, and that's the thing. And the next time, when that customer gives you a call, you, you you're going to remember. To them yeah, of course away. you are. And rather than, oh, where's, where's that customer we work for? Oh, we worked for a few, haven't we? Yeah, there. a couple of them. That they, they just, you get treated like you're in the way. Yeah. And it's always the first thing that you talk about on a job. If a job's gone bad, you go, oh, yeah, it was horrible, that job. Didn't even make me one cup of coffee the entire time I was there. It's they, the first thing, no matter what else went on on the job, not making a cup of tea or a cup of coffee is the first thing that's, that's exactly mentioned. How, that's exactly how most tradesmen rate a job in it. Yeah. By the amount how, of cups of tea yeah. they get. And how oh, well yeah, it was a lovely job. I was getting pumped with coffee all day. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah, that's exactly it. Not not um not what job you did or how, or you know uh, the finish of it, but it was yeah. how, how how well the customer treated you. The the amazing ones even go the extra mile on the extra mile and will maybe get you a bacon sandwich once or twice a week. Yeah, that's that's the amazing customers. Because normally normally if you're doing a Saturday morning, you get a bacon roll, don't you? Yeah, but, but a nice the, little treat one through the week. is yeah, exactly. Amazing. Or they go into the bakery and they come back with a couple of donuts. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Is. Like I say, you don't you don't expect it, but it's a lovely little treat through the day. And then then you sat there and you're thinking, well, I've not priced for that bit, so I'm not going to do it. But I tell you what, they've actually they made me they a looked of after me. And yeah, they bought me some donuts. I tell you what, I'll, I'll do it, and I'll just not yeah yeah. And all they of a sudden, not even realise that you've done it come the end of the job. But yeah. it all adds up into that complete total finish. And all those all those little five minute jobs that you get asked to do at the end of the, at the end yeah. of the job, well, you don't could, seem to mind doing them, do you? Because well, you've, well, you've looked after me. Now I can look yeah. after you. I'll, I'll do that a little bit more for you. I could just I could do it if you stick the kettle on. <laughs> there you go. That's... <laughs> Yeah, other than that, it otherwise becomes a battle and you just don't like, you, you know, you think, oh, you know, then you've got to take, like you say, you've got to take your own kit there or you've got to go to, go yeah. and find a coffee from somewhere. And, and you, feel, just, you feel a bit rude boiling a kettle in their bedroom <laughs> when, they're, when they're downstairs in the kitchen just because you wanted a brew. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, I, yeah, I think I think what we've realised is that if the customer looks after you, makes a cup of tea, you'll look after them. Uh, job will be, job will be much better. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's it for this week, don't you? Yeah, that's that's us done. So if you want to follow us on uh, two decks, one mic. Yeah, on all the socials. Um, yeah, thanks for joining. See you next Cheers, week. Cheers. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.